Welcome to my FL Studio version 2 um, and Synth Station 25 tutorial. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through some of the basics of FL Studio 2 um, combined with my uh, Akai Synth Station 25 portable keyboard. Um, this application does run on an iPad, which is a, a larger app, but unlike um, the size of the Synth Station, I mean, it, it pretty much is about the size of two of my hands, one, two, and I can put this in just about any bag that I have, and I can pull that on an airplane, I can pull out on in cars, when I'm tra traversing, going different places. Um, it's really portable, and it, and it fits my needs particularly. Um, the Synth Station, it's totally battery powered. It's powered off of um, four AA batteries. Uh, again, you know, my iPhone, this is an iPhone 4. Um, it's battery powered, and this setup allows me to have a completely um, battery powered uh, rig. FL Studio um, version 2 is a, a nice piece of software. So, what I'm going to do is we're going we're gonna to create a basic beat with this thing. Um, I've already created a new project. I'm going to call it demo for this particular purposes. Tutorial, okay, and this is like my second iteration, so I'll call it demo two. So the first thing that um, a new file starts you out with is um, um, it starts you immediately when you go to the track and the step sequencer. Now you can compose a beat like this. I'm going to hit the metronome so you can hear it. Comes up with 120. I hit done, I hit play, and it's going. Cut the metronome on. Done. So I'm going to tap, tap out a kick every four. And I can do the same with the snare on two and four. Drop a, a basic hat on three. See how quick and easy that was using a step sequencer. However, step, sequen step sequencer is annoying and slow. So let me cut all this stuff off and show you how you really uh, drop a beat in here. You have the ability to switch to a drum pad. And let me just stop it from playing. So I, I can just quickly hammer in a beat like that. So I'm going to hit the record button. You hit a metronome in there going. I just have a set for one bar. So I'm just going to loop this one bar. how quickly I just dropped the beat in there. So I go back to the instrument and the track. You see my step, step sequencer. Everything is laid out in there. Now this is a step sequencer. I can go to um uh, to the track editor. I can see the full bar that I have here. So I just have one bar. Cool thing about Free Loops, sorry, FL Studio Mobile. I can select this, this track. I can quickly double it. You see this button down here that says, it's hard to see, let's see if I can focus it. This button right here, it means Duplicate to the next measure. So I have this selected. I'm gonna select that. And I just doubled my bar, doubled my, my phrase. I'm gonna hit it two more times to make a four bar phrase. All right, I have a four bar kick phrase. Kick, drum, snare. So what I'm quickly gonna do is I'm gonna add some, some bass line on top of that. So let me stop. 
and I just switched to the, um, it was already in there, but it's just some synthesizer, some instrument. Let me select this guy. And this is where the beauty of my Akai synth station comes in. You know, it comes in, I can actually hammer out some chords, some decent chords, using my one hand. All right, so you get that. So I'm gonna pick something. I'm gonna do something simple like that, all right? And I'm gonna to go to select keyboard here. And you see my record button becomes active right there. The red button, I'm gonna hit that. And my metronome kicks in. And I'm ready to record. I'm just gonna drop it like this. So I recorded my pattern up. I'm gonna cut the record off. Let's just listen to that. And you can kind of see my keys over here. I don't have the full so I'm just gonna slide this over. You can see the keys that I played on the keyboard. I can even play them here. I can play them here. Take it up an octave. I play it at the same time. So I'm gonna go back to our instrument. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to our track. And I'm gonna add something so I can do a quick bass line. So there's a button right here that says piano, step, and audio. Piano allows me to add an instrument that's um, within FL Studio Mobile. Step allows me to add pretty much some drum type instruments. And then audio allows me to bring in some type of audio clip that I would like to um, 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 sample or chop up or manipulate. So I'm going to click piano. I'm going to touch piano there. And I'm going to go to instrument because I want to go ahead and make that some type of bass. So I got my synths here. And this third one down says synth bass. There's synth lead, synth pad, synth bass, synth keys. I'm going to hit select synth bass. I just hit one. Oh, you, you hear that? It's way too high. So let's put this down into a bass register. There we go. Maybe one more. There we go. How's that? And the beat about um, the synth station is the, these buttons here, drum, synth one, synth two, synth three, program, um, previous and next, and octave up and down, function in FL Studio Mobile. And I, I didn't expect that to happen, but when I pressed them and I found out they worked, I was even more happy. So let's find one. I actually like the first one. I'll we'll go through a few real quick. Ooh, that's fat right there, ain't it? And some of the sounds in this um, um this application, this mobile app, are pretty damn good. So I like the first one. Oh, we got one more left in this category. And I'm gonna go back to the first one. I like that one. Base attack is what it's called. Boom. Select that. And if you can't see here, I have the ability to, to modify this instrument to um, a certain degree. I have pan, I have volume, and I have attack and, attack and release. Um, if you're familiar with these um, configurations, this, this control, attack controls how fast the sound comes in. It's kind of real low, it's hard to hear. Bring it back in. You hear the beginning of the sound and release means it just 
lingers on for a while if it had some type of trail to it. So we just set it back to this default. All right. So I'm gonna go to my track. I'm just gonna hit play, see what that sounds like real quick. And just play something simple over it. I'm just gonna drop it in like that. All right. Just go to my keyboard. Hit my record button. You hear it going? I'm just gonna drop a bar. too loud, so I'm gonna mute those. So I missed the bar here. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna select this bar. And like I said, we had a button that allows us to duplicate it to the next measure. Hit that button. And I got all four measures filled. All right. Bring back in the keys. Unmute it. And again, like I said, they're a little too loud. Bring those keys down. So they're not overbearing. So next, oh that's clipping all in my let's cut this down a little. So the next video, I'm going to show you how to quantize. If you hear that bass note, that bass rhythm, it is not in sync. So we do some quantizing, we do some manipulation, we do some editing and some basic uh, digital uh, audio workstation uh, manipulation. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you in the next one.